Hello class! In this video, we're going to look at using Microsoft Imagine. You have a Microsoft Imagine account set up through OTC that allows you access to free Microsoft software. I'm going to use Internet Explorer because this is a Microsoft website. And then I'm going to search. I'm not much of a Internet Explorer user, so I'll have to really work here. I'm going to search for Ozarks um, Technical on the Hub. Now I'm trying to find the website, and you'll be able to find it through your Canvas course with some various links. But if you're ever in a situation where you don't have availability of those links, you can search for Ozarks Technical on the Hub, and the top link will be our OTC uh, Microsoft Imagine web store. So I'm going to click on that link. You should have received an email telling you about your account and you'll be able to click on the link from that email to complete setting up your account. It should be a very simple thing to do. You shouldn't require much help in that. I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. This is the Microsoft Imagine account login page and you can see from their website it has a lot of capabilities. I'm going to go ahead and get on here. Now your sign in will be your OTC email address so it'll be your username at otc.edu my resolution is pretty hard to see things on this laptop. I apologize for that. Now, when you get logged on to your Imagine account, it should look like a standard shopping site. And what you're shopping for is Microsoft software. So you can click on Start Shopping. Now, this video could apply to a couple of different classes. So first of all, if you're in the 120 class and you're looking for Microsoft Visio, you could search for Visio. The search results should show you all the different versions of Visio that are available for you to download. Let's apologize about that. Um, and I want Visio Professional 2013. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now you can scroll down and look at other versions of Visio that are available to you. You could get 2016 if you wanted to be real forward thinking and not have much support. Um, you could also, if you notice on this link, they bring up Project Professional, which is also another Microsoft project that's related to Visio. Microsoft Visio is a drawing tool and we use it for creating flowcharts. Um, database diagrams, data flow diagrams, all those kinds of different things. Now if I look at the difference here, I have two versions for Visio Professional 2013 available to me. I have the DVD version and I have the web installer. Now if I download the web installer, that's going to download a small chunk of code to execute and it's going to start the installation process then it's going to download the additional content to install the software while the installation process is running so this is a nice easy way to do it if you have the internet capability and you can just stay connected to the internet while you do the install we also could download the DVD version um, this would be a larger download but then would not require access to the internet to do the install so we would do this if we were working on setting up a new computer and we wanted to get a DVD or something like that I'm going to go ahead and use this version I'm going to add it to my cart you may very well want to use this version, so be aware of that difference. But I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart. And I have this item that's been added to my shopping cart. Um, it tells me that I'm agreeing to all the terms and conditions. You are agreeing to um, a license with Microsoft. So please view all the terms and conditions. Make sure you are aware. You're welcome to use this software on any computer that you use, but you are not able to use your licenses to install on other people's computers. Now, if I wanted to, I have additional options to view my full cart, um, check some other things. 
I could go ahead and check out. I'm going to click on this link just because I want to show you what's available on that software link. Now, I could come back to this anytime by using my home key and looking at the software that I have already purchased. Right now, this is in my cart. It's going to be a download. Um, it tells me a little bit about the software. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check this out. I went back to my cart and now I'm going to check out and again remember I have the DVD version um, it says what would you like to do your order contains access keys that are necessary to use the items you've got so anytime I want to I can come back to this page my download information on this software and find my product key this product key in red is the product key that I will need to install this software to license it with Microsoft. Additionally, because I said I wanted to download a DVD version, I have available instructions on burning a DVD. Um, I have the Microsoft um, user license agreement. Again, another link to that. So I'm ready. I can go ahead and download my software. Now remember I downloaded the DVD version, so it's going to take a minute to download but I wanted to show you the capabilities if you like you can download the secure download manager which will allow you to pause your downloads and restart them or you can download and open your software order package which isn't really gonna do you much good so you pretty much need to download the secure download manager now I'm going to create another video that shows how to actually install Visio. So I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much. Have a great day.